be able to to do the tablet. We so can definitely I, look into that. Yeah, we're definitely. Look, I'll definitely look into that yeah, because they just did that like last like the Thursday before break. They just oh did yeah, yeah it's very new. <laughs> yeah, Ms. no, Marshall I'll definitely look that. into that. Yeah, no. No, you, that was the reason that we had tablets, and so, and I know that some people don't want to even take them outside. However, that's why everyone has a tablet. We love outdoors, but you know, for our principal to keep with licensing, we take it out. Yeah. Though it doesn't work right now, we still take ours out. Right. So, okay, thank, thank you. you. I definitely will check that. Thank you. Okay, Jennifer Ferguson. Mary. Um, first of all, I want to just point out that I, so I've got two kids that have gone through the district from preschool all the way through. They graduated. They were class of 22. Um, my youngest started in preschool and he's still working his way through the district. Um, but we've got a lot of really good programs here and I want to make sure we don't lose those. And mine all started with Johnson and Johnson is an excellent program and it's a great stepping stone for the kids. And the kindergarten teachers will tell you there's a huge difference. They can tell which kids went through that program and which ones don't. Um, and my youngest actually had to go through the tote program in Brownstown first for speech. He had to have an expressive language delay. He went there for speech um, because Taylor didn't take them that young and started on his second birthday. Taylor at three, ta it took, I don't know if they still do, but at three, Taylor took them in at Myers for drop-in speech and then at four at Johnson where the, the speech followed through. Okay. 